Chapter 23 no howled george not another lecture i haven't got time this is an emergency cosmos the picture of the milky way zoomed inside the spiral very quickly as if cosmo was offended by george's lack of interest george could see that the spiral was indeed made of countless stars the image whizzed past these until it reached a place where there didn't seem to be anything any more the picture stopped moving the screen looked as if it had been cut in two the bottom half of the screen was full of stars the other half completely empty except for a thin line that was moving up toward the top edge of the screen the empty part of the screen seemed to correspond to an unknown part of the universe an unknown part that the thin line seemed to be unraveling as it moved Pointing at the upper end of the line was a moving arrow with a little tag attached to it. The writing was so small, George could hardly read it. What does it say? he asked Cosmos. Cosmos didn't reply, but made the tag grow bigger, and George saw the word Eric written on it. There he is. Open the portal for me. Near that arrow, commanded George, pressing the enter key on Cosmos' keyboard. George is a member of the order. Authorization granted. Spacesuit needed. Cosmo said in the mechanical voice he used to process orders. George rummaged through the pile of spacesuits, but he couldn't see the ones he had worn before. Eric's old spacesuits were all huge, so he reluctantly ended up wearing Annie's old pink one. It was a bit tight, and he felt very silly. But as the only person he was going to see in outer space was Eric, he figured it didn't matter. Once George was snugly buckled into the sequined suit, Cosmos drew the doorway into outer space. George reached forward and opened the door. Holding onto the portal frame with his hands, he leaned out to have a look around. His feet still anchored inside Eric's library. This part of outer space seemed very similar to the one he had seen before, but this time he didn't see any planets around him. It didn't look much like the image on Cosmos' screen. It wasn't cut in two at all. There were stars shining everywhere. Eric, however, was nowhere to be seen. Eric! George shouted. Eric! Can you hear me? There was no reply. Maybe he was in the wrong place. George looked back into the library, toward where Cosmo's scream. The Eric arrow was still there. Next to it, he saw a new one that had George written on it. He realized that what he saw out of the doorway wasn't yet on Cosmo's screen. Cosmo had to process the information, and only after he had done so would, would it appear on the screen. George leaned through the door into outer space once more, making sure not to fall. Eric, are you there? Can you hear me? he yelled. Who's calling me? replied a faint voice through the transmitter fitted inside George's space helmet. Eric, where are you? Do you see the door? Oh, hello, George. Yes, I can see you. Stop shouting now. You're hurting my ears. I'm coming straight toward you from your left. George looked to his left, and there it was, a little asteroid gently traveling through space sitting on it was eric holding in each hand a rope attached to spikes he had planted in the rock he looked very relaxed what are you doing he asked come back cried george trying to sound urgent without shouting it's greeper who sent you the letter it's my fault i spoke to him about cosmos george replied eric firmly right now i'm working so we'll have to talk about this later you definitely shouldn't have mentioned cosmos to anyone close the portal george and go home you don't understand said george greeper is horrible i know him he's my teacher it must be a trap come back now please this morning he asked me if you had disappeared that's enough and stop being silly look around there's nothing dangerous at all said eric impatiently now go home and forget about cosmos i'm not sure i should have shown you my computer after all george looked over at eric's rock 
in a few seconds it was going to be close enough for him to jump on to it he took a few steps back into the library paused for a second and then ran toward the doorway leaping through it as far toward the rock as he could holy planet he heard eric say george grab my hand <laughs>